how the other half lives by Jacob, and you know, I'm not sure, because he's J Danish, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Rios, Ris, Reis, whatever. Uh, this book is kind of interesting because it's a bit inflammatory about immigrants, even though it was a book written in the late 1800s by a person who themselves was an immigrant to America, became rich, and then, you know, decided he didn't very much like the poor and immigrant masses in New York, even though he once was one. The book has been criticized very heavily uh, for its depiction of poverty, and some people do think he exaggerated the situations that were happening in the ghettos. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I know the man himself did back initiatives to gentrify neighborhoods, and this piece is extremely racist. The part of it that gets into crime is he talks about gang life, and if you've ever asked the question, why was maybe life so cheap or brutal back then, this book does give you a very good, candid answer to that. Now, what I am going to say is at the end of the book, the man does talk about reforms that can be done. So I'm not quite sure if, you know, he's as bad as his reputation is, in other words, because there is calls for reform and ways to do it, you know, because the book does start talking out about how, you know, poor people are being exploited because they're being essentially stacked into these, you know, hovels, sometimes five to just one room of a tenement house, and yet they're still being really overcharged, you know, the swarm lord stuff. Now, that doesn't really do anything, though, to distract from the fact that this guy was graphically racist, 